Well, diesel, whether you use it or not, it does make the world go round. It powers the machines used to harvest food. It takes your kids to school, of course, in a school bus, and it helps you stay warm in the winter. But now diesel levels are at their lowest since 2008. Atlanta News First reporter Abby Casores shares how there's a very real chance this shortage may impact your family. Mansfield Energy predicts the diesel shortage will have major impacts across the southeast. Georgia small businesses are preparing for the worst. At SNS Mufflers, the guys at the shop have diesel on their minds. We are in a serious situation because we have to have diesel to get this country going. Rodney Walker says while it might cost less to fill up the gas in his car, his family's business will be impacted. You know, I have people that's in a trucking business, I have people in a tow business, so it's going to affect a lot of people in my family. But it's not just my family, it's going to affect everybody's family. Mansfield Energy reports a 25-day supply of diesel left in the U.S. Supply chain expert Marty Parker says those low levels will impact trucking, farming, and manufacturing the most. It is in uh, trains, it is in trucks, it is in barges, cargo jets. Parker says there are a few things that impacted the U.S. oil supply. The pandemic closed oil refineries in the U.S. The U.S. banned oil imports from Russia due to the war in Ukraine. And a strike in France among refinery workers also had an impact. All right, so the immediate obvious impact is higher prices, which is going to result in, in uh, more inflation and potentially shortages. I see the economy, you know, bouncing back. It will, you know, but for right now, People are just going to have to tighten up their belts a little bit because diesel does make a difference in this country. Parker says it will take time to feel some of those impacts. He says we won't see higher prices on goods until the start of next year, meaning we might be able to make it through Thanksgiving dinners and Christmas shopping without seeing those impacts. In Atlanta, I'm Abby Casores.